Greetings, filthy trash of the internet. It is your boy. <laughs> you can't you can't be a black YouTuber and not try and start your videos with the phrase it's your boy. It's your boy Ragnarob um, coming at you with that <laughs> top quality smash content. As we discussed in the last video, um, I wanted to hear your thoughts on who should be in the new roster for Smash Brothers 5. So I checked through the comments, I checked through the tweets and whatnot, and I found five of the most suggested diglets for the for the Smash roster, and I wanted to share them with y'all. Ready for some of that? Ready for some Smash Bros, yeah? Yeah? Cool. Ready. Here we go. <laughs> no. A gift from the gods. Number five was Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie is an archaic platformer that started its life on a Nintendo console. The furry pair have been entertaining the masses for years, and despite the critical failure of the most recent successor, Ukulele, uh, the beastly duo still hold a place in the hearts of fans. And through their adventures, they've acquired a myriad of quirky powers that could all be referenced in their moveset. Every single animal or machine transformation could work into such a good special, and the fact that Kazooie is a fucking bird means that there's an easy recovery option. It, they'd be both popular and practical. I think it would be a completely solid, solid character. Good suggestion, guys. Away with you, protuberance of the flesh! Number four is Bandana D. This sentient mochi ball of a character is so fucking cute! Love it! Boy, the spicy boy. I love him. So he'd be a sort of mid-ground for the Kirby character. We've got DDD, who's a slow and heavy-hitting boy. We've got Meta Knight, who's a fast and rapid-fire boy. And then we've got Bandana D, who would function similarly to a sort of sword fighter, but with, with a bit more range and a bit more, like, in terms of movement, I imagine he'd be a bit slower than, like, fucking Marth, because... Look at his legs! But he'd make up for this with above average range and fantastic recovery because frankly being part of the Kirby family just means that you have godlike recovery. It's fucking ridiculous. On face value, it would seem like his moveset would be terribly simple, but if you look to the new Star Allies game, that game had so much polish and creativity in its zany combat. There's lots of weird combos that you can that you could probably just use as special moves with the bandana D. His recovery, of course, would be little twiddly helicopter spear thing but I, th I think looking to the new kirby games you could find a lot to use as reference material for his moveset he would be a lovely squishy boy fighter so cute the almighty three shell beating number three Shantae. Of course I'd say Shantae. I've been meaning to actually play a Shantae game, I just haven't, <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to it, okay? Either way, this feisty femme fatale is no stranger to danger. She whips her way through waves of enemies. She would definitely be a force to be reckoned with. Her hair would function as her primary weapon, of course. However, her arsenal and her wardrobe have expanded, as did the series. This means that there's so many options for her specials. Ninja tools, a laser gun, and even a fucking beach ball have all at one point been part of her weaponry, and this would all serve as fun fighter options when trying to design her as a Smash character. And to top it all off, she is surrounded by waifus all the time! Every single game is just like booby ladies, and all of them could function as assist characters, or even maybe a final Smash. Either way, she'd be, she'd, she'd be pretty, pretty, pretty fucking great. Do you live in a cave? Boys, 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 boys. Travis! Touchdown, and his big old laser sword would be a fabulous outside of the box addition to the roster. This cheeky shit show of a man would function as another bladed character, slashing his way through one Smash player at a time. His bike, his charge attack, and all of his weapon variants would function as specials. And plus, he has a new game coming out, which means there'll be even more opportunities to add things to his roster of abilities. And basically just putting him in Smash is an advertisement for his game. It's just a good idea, Nintendo, hop on it. Bow to this fruit of the earth, then peel it and sip it for the last task of your miserable life! Here's the money! Here we go! Money talks! Here comes the money! Ladies and gentle titties, the world wants Ouija! Not even just on my video, but the wider community as a whole fucking loves Waluigi! And who can blame them, to be honest? This long-nosed, long-legged son of a bitch is the only main Mario dude not to be represented in Smash. We have- no, no, that's a lie. That's- <laughs> excuse me. Am I forgetting about Toad? But- 
on a, on a realsies though, I feel like Waluigi has been on the sidelines for far too long. Waluigi has actually existed for 18 years now, being originally released in Mario Tennis of the year 2000. And although he's previously made appearances as an assist trophy, I think it's finally time to make him part of the roster. What I think would function really well is to actually make him like a tennis character. He appeared first in the tennis game and his assist trophy has him with the tennis racket. Make his attacks themed around tennis. Or if we look to the Double Dash games, the Wario Brothers always had an affinity with bob Oms. Just give him explosives, give him a racket and a wreck shit. In fact, I'm making the prediction now. Waluigi is going to be in Smash 5. I think I think he's too perfect. I think I think the, the long boy needs his time to shine. So I pray that this dog has his day. Waluigi for Smash 5. Anyway though, that that's that's the list, my dudes. That's that's who you guys suggested most. Thank you to everybody who bothered to leave me a pretty little comment on the last Smash video so I could actually get the get the characters for this video. And in the meantime, if you want more dumb fucking content like this, just hit that subscriber button, leave me a comment, and <laughs> send me a meme on Twitter. I like Twitter memes. See you guys later, bye! I am the banana man. I will provide you with bananas. Welcome to my shower. We're doing this in the shower. Um, yeah, hey you guys. Um, so I haven't uploaded in like 60, 70 fucking days. And to be honest, I've been feeling a bit down and I've been feeling a bit uncreative. So I closed down my Patreon, well, put my Patreon on pause so I wasn't robbing money out of people who really didn't deserve to be giving me any money. Despite that, you've still been supporting me and that's fucking amazing. So. What I would just want to say is, um, sorry for the shitty upload schedule, but we all have bad times, and maybe now can be a good time. Let's turn this shit around. So thank you so much for your unending support. Thank you for all of the activity in the Discord, and thank you for watching this video. I will be around. Promise. Have a lovely night. Hey, I'm not afraid, I can be myself and I hope you can be yourself as well I can make you feel alright There was so much happiness that we were still yet to find I said that you can call me Alex baby, welcome to my life And if you're looking for something new, I know somebody that you could choose What about me? What about me, yeah? What about me and you together? Something that could really last forever. What about me? What about me?